Well, hi, it's Pastor Al here. I hope you're already having a good Easter. Easter is a great, important day. It's really the most important day of the whole Christian year for Christians. I mean, it's the day we remember that Jesus, having died on Friday on the cross for our sins, came back to life. Even death was not strong enough to hold him down. And Sunday morning, the uh, women who followed Jesus got up and they went to his tomb. And the, the stone was rolled away, and, and it was empty. Jesus had come back to life, and over the next 40 days, he kept showing up to be with his disciples and the people that followed him to show them that he really, truly was alive again. Now, I know you're starting to think to yourself, how is Pastor Al going to work a dog video into this? And I got your beat. I remember when our kids were little, we, we did do Easter egg hunts, so I think you got to be careful that you don't think about Easter only as Easter egg hunts because it's a lot more important than that. I remember one of my girls asked, because we had dogs, they says, Dad, do you think that the Easter Bunny might not come to our house because we have dogs? And I said, you know what? I think that the Easter Bunny might be a little smarter than dogs. And you know what? I now have video proof. Watch. Yeah, the dog thought all he had to do was to smell the rabbit's scent on the trail, and the rabbit knew exactly what to do. So, yeah, there are times where rabbits are smarter than dogs. Um, I kind of wish you all had come to church this morning, because Easter is such a fun day. Um, I'm going to show you what you would have gotten if you were at, at, came to the, the children's sermon today. Uh, now, I know you probably have either gotten or will be getting like a million plastic eggs with stuff in it. And that's okay. We had some hidden up on the church today, or we will have, depending on when you're watching this. And I'm everybody gets a chance to go get one. But there is something a little unique about this egg. And I want to show you this because I want you to think about this for every little plastic egg you open this Easter. If you open this egg, you're going to find two things in it. First, you're going to find a cross. And that cross is going to be there to remind you that Jesus died for our sins, died on Good Friday, died in our place. And, you know, if that didn't happen, if we didn't have that, we'd have no reason to have Easter. And then, once you get everything out, what have you got inside here? Nothing, right? It's empty. And what does that remind you of? It reminds you of an empty tomb. That Jesus' tomb didn't stay filled with a dead body. That Jesus came back to life, visited his, his, all of his, the people that followed, who followed him, and then has gone up to heaven and will return from there again one day. And then, just for the heck of it, what else is in there? Well, it's a little chocolate Easter egg. And you know why it's there? To remind us that God loves us so much that he died for us and rose again for us. And that is sweet. Totally sweet. So every time you open up an Easter egg today, I want you at least maybe to think a little bit about, wow, once it's empty, it's like the empty tomb. And that's what Easter is all about. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great day with your family. I hope you don't forget what today is all about. Because that would be the worst thing ever. Have a wonderful Easter, kids. God bless you. Bye-bye.